This is really interesting. The numbers for Sam Darnold's contract just came out, and the Niners are giving him $4.5 million for one year with $3.5 million guaranteed for allegedly the third string quarterback. I mean, this makes him the 14th highest paid player on the team in terms of cap hits for 2023. And it essentially means he's getting $3.5 million no matter what to not even play or suit up. The plan for him theoretically is to just be there. Practice in the offseason while Brock Purdy's hurt. And then when Brock Purdy comes back, don't even suit up. He'll be one of the inactive guys while being the 14th highest paid player on the team. That's kind of irregular. I'm not saying it's a bad move, but it's surprising that an NFL team would essentially spend $3.5 million guaranteed on what? Insurance? And that he would sign up for this. Hey, man, most of the most of the time you're not even going to be wearing pads, but here's $3.5 million. Can't guarantee that you'll ever get on the field or that you'll be able to rehab your career. So a few things could be going on here. The Niners could feel that this is a, you know, worthwhile investment because... They don't really, they don't really invest in pass protection, frankly, outside of the left tackle position. It's not a heavy uh, emphasis in their scheme, in their roster, in their salary cap structure. So if you're not going to make that a point of emphasis, just bring in as many quarterbacks as possible. That could be what they're doing. I mean, between Brock Purdy, Trey Lance, and Sam Darnold, they're still spending less than $15 million against the cap on quarterbacks this season, which is nothing. Or... They're thinking, you know what, best case scenario, Brock Purdy's ready in six months, but we don't know what the reality is. So now they can go as slow as they need with Brock Purdy. If he needs extra time, no problem. They have Sam Darnold. He can be their second string quarterback, which is sort of the money he's making right now. Or Sam Darnold could be here because he's secretly competing with Trey Lance to be Brock Purdy's backup. Maybe the Niners really, really are confident that Brock Purdy's going to be back week one, but they're not so confident in Trey Lance. I mean, I think they feel there's a possibility he takes a giant leap like Jalen Hurts did, but at the same time, they know he's been rehabbing the last six months. He hasn't really been working on his throwing. That jump would be kind of magical. So it's possible it'll happen. They'll maybe give him all offseason to prove it, but if he doesn't take a leap, if he's the same quarterback this year that he was two years ago and Sam Darnold looks really good on the 49ers, maybe, maybe the Niners showcase Trey Lance in preseason and trade him before the season starts. I have no idea what they're thinking. Again, it's possible they just want to keep all three and they're counting on getting quarterbacks hurt, which is kind of morbid, but also kind of realistic. I mean, it's not like they're spending money on offensive linemen. They're spending on defense alignment. So maybe this is the best course of action. I just think it's really interesting. Three and a half million dollars guaranteed for a third string quarterback. That's a new one.